<laughs> All right, um, Sen, have you chosen your character yet? Okay. All right. This adventure starts, as all adventures do, in a tavern. Tavern down by the waterfront. You all are a wayward group of adventurers that have just come back from a, well, shall we say it was an unsuccessful adventure. You got all your magic items stolen, you spent up all your money, and now you're flat busted. You're sitting here and between the four of you, you scraped enough copper pieces together to get one beer, which you're passing around, taking sips off of, wondering where your next job is going to come from, and you really need something. And while you're sitting there, the door opens to the inn, and standing in the door is your classic sea captain he's got the sea captain hat and a big long coat with shiny buttons on it and he's got a pipe sticking in his teeth and he'll come in and shake the rain off of his hat and look squinting around and see a group of adventurers sitting at a table and he'll come over with his thumping his big heavy boots on the wooden floor as he comes and he will pull his hair out and sit down at your table without even being invited and say, Good evening, adventurers. Be a in need of some work. And he'll strike a big match and light his pipe and blow a big smoke ring. Tell you what. And he'll turn to the bartender and say, Three more of these. Let's put your whistle while you think about it. I've got a proposition for you. Recently in the sea lanes near here, an island just up and rose out of the sea. No one knows where it came from. No one knows why. But it's blocking the trading lanes, adding days to... Our ship's traveling. Well, that's hitting the bottom line. And a bunch of sea captains got together and decided we needed to do something about it. And um, you're what we decided to do about it, should you feel game. It's like, we've got gold, more gold than you can imagine. But we need to find out what's with this island and make it go away Remove whatever is danger is there because we, we can't keep continuing to divert away from it in the sea lanes. We're willing to pay. And he'll you know, pull out a little notepad and look at some numbers and count on his thumbs and fingers. And he's like, 500 gold pieces each. Half up front. We will provide you transport as close as we can get to the island. Mm, gold. I like gold. <laughs> He's like, me? I've been a cat in 20 years. I... Oh. <laughs> well, what do you say? All right, that's 500, 250 now, and 250 upon completion. And he'll open up a coin purse, and he'll start counting out platinum pieces until he makes a stack of 25, and he'll push it across 
the table to break. And then he'll count out another 25 platinum pieces and push it across the table to inch and then count out another 25 and push it at the faceless, nameless, undecided character that Reno hasn't chosen yet. And then count out a bit more and push it towards Pancake. The money's good. All you got to do is investigate this island and put a stop to whatever's there. What do you say? And right about then, Pancake's stomach rumbles because you realize you didn't have enough money for beer and food, and you're kind of getting hungry. <laughs> Tell you what. He'll say, by thunder, and he'll slap the table and send the coins flying into the air and scattering around on the table. You've got a deal. Was he not leveled up? I oh, yes. pocket my money. He, sh he should have been. I don't know why he was not. I think I had to remake him. So, yes, go ahead and do that. My apologies. I think I did put all his spells on there. Sven's looking at the character like, this is way too many spells uh, for this well, level of cleric. I will... I, I, I will say that the the character wizard has some has some issues. <laughs> I, I I was unaware of that when I made these characters with it. Otherwise, I would have done it old school. <laughs> Anyways, he will say you've got a deal, and he will pay for meals and rooms for the night. He's like. He finds himself paying a little bit more for Pancake than he thought he would. <laughs> pancake is hungry. And, uh, you'll eat until they run out of food. And then, then I don't know what you're going to do. <laughs> but you will probably eat all of the food. Go to, the, go to the next tavern <laughs> over. And he'll say, My ship's the bluebird. Find it in the morning. Don't make me come looking for you. And he will, um, after arranging the rooms and the meal, he will um, take his leave. And he will just, you know, kind of wave his hand as he, as he um, clumps on out of the, out of the room, leaving you in the early evening. Is there anything you guys would like to do in town before morning? We'll um, probably use our money to get. You, to yes, you can add twenty-five platinum pieces each. Or two fifty gold, however you want to keep track of the math. And um, there are shops open with all the standard players' handbook gear. If there's something you're looking for, um, to be honest, I kind of you were like we're flat broke and have nothing but. Like, I know that in my inventory, I've got supplies, so I kind of wanted to just justify having supplies. Well, you have supplies, but that's all you have. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. You, you, do have your, you do have all your equipment. There's some, you know, probably have some rations in your packs, but man, you can only eat raisins and beef jerky for so many days in a row before you've had enough rations. Okay. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> you seem overly concerned, son. All right, make me a charisma check. Or if you have persuasion, you can uh, make me a persuasion roll. I didn't think you did. Nope. Oh. All right. He, he will give you the blessing and um, tell you... Um, that, you know, this is a seaport. Many people go to sea every day. Most of them come back. Chances are you will as well. Man, you'll definitely take that. He's like, man, if I'd have known that you were going to pay me, I might have given you a better blessing. <laughs> All right, after paying you in advance, morning comes. It is foggy and chilly and you make your way to the docks and you can find the ship, the Bluebird, and it looks like they're getting ready to, to set sail. And you can see the captain, Captain Baron is his name, standing on the deck and he will greet you and take a puff of his pipe. Help you get aboard, get your gear stowed, and off you sail into the fog. About three hours later, he calls for them to, you know, shore up the sails and drop the anchor. And he'll say, well, folks, this is close as we get to the island. And he'll nod to a rowboat that they're lowering into the water. And you can just make through the, through the foggy air in the distance, you know, the shape of an island. There it be. Let me share with you a map. I'd say you're about a mile, mile and a half out from the island. It's not very far, really. Far enough that you couldn't swim it. But... <laughs> That's funny. And uh, Pancake, like, kind of claps Breck on... Question, actually. Do we call you Breck of the Light every time? Or do we call you Breck? Okay. Uh, Pancake kind of claps you on the back and he says, Don't worry. If you fall in, I'll go after you. All right, I need Reno to pick a character portrait. On the map, you guys can put yourselves in the boat wherever you want. Unless, for whatever reason, you choose to not be in the boat. Oh, I have a spiffy hat, too. It's just not within hand's reach.
All right. Shame. Bad, bad Twitch guy. I even have my Twitch shirt on, and I'm failing at Twitch. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, like I was saying, <laughs> um, I'm wearing a silly hat because Atomic Hero Squad redeems fan silliness. So I'm wearing a silly hat. Shame. <laughs> Shame. And uh, Shame. I have Twitch on my phone to check my sound levels and just never got around to it. So thank you so much. Uh, I presume you can hear everybody else since you didn't say anything. So thank you. <laughs> now we have to restart everything all over again. Okay, guys, back in the tavern. <laughs> uh -huh. No, we're starting in the boat. For whatever reason, you have found yourselves in a boat. <laughs> Reno, how familiar are you with wizards? Did we lose him? Reno? If you're talking, we can't hear you. You can hear. Um, you can have um, 11 spells prepared um, under the mode in the lower right corner of your character sheet on the actions tab. You can switch to preparation and prepare the spells that you have. And then we can get started. So thank you again, Martian Cat, for the biddies. That is awesome and amazing. I appreciate you. Uh, definitely go check her out. She does Friday night horror streams. And that's not W-H-O-R-E. That's H-O-R-R-E-R. -R -E -R. Horror streams with the various games um, from Dusk Till Dawn and Daylight. Survive Till Daylight. And uh, she was last doing um, her mainstream which is the choices books which are amazing she does all the different characters jingo jumps in there and does different characters sometimes as well so definitely check her out all right so i'm going to get in the center of the boat sit on the very bottom of it and i'm just going to have my head down and i'm quietly praying grasping on to the bench <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm up at the front on a set of oars. Here, Pancake will uh, keep you safe at his feet, uh, and uh, he'll take like the back set of oars. All right, Reno, on your actions tab, which is the bottom tab of your character sheet. If you scroll down, you will see your first, second, third, and fourth level wizard spells. Below that, at the very bottom of that page, is a it says mode. It goes from standard to combat to preparation. Click on preparation and then scroll down to those um, spells. And you can click the dot next to it to prepare it. You can have 11 prepared. Seven for your level and four for your intelligence modifier. Meanwhile. Eleven spells total across all four of your spell levels. do that all right as you guys are rolling with all your might towards the island dodging jutting rocks while peering through the thick mist eventually you feel your boat run aground now 
I'm going to, well, Sven, I'll, Sven, I'll ask you this. Odd or even, roll a die. Any die. If I get to pick it to odd. All right. Even. Oh, wait. Let me back this up. I missed something. You are not run aground yet. As you're rowing towards the island. I think Breck probably hopes that we've run aground. Yes, you haven't. Let me back up. I, I grabbed the wrong... That was what I meant to show you. The closer you come to the island, the thicker the fog hangs in the air, and more violently the sea churns. I'll take perception rolls from everybody. So I lose whatever breakfast I had. Continental breakfast. Biscuit and a boiled egg. Piece of Canadian bacon. The sad part is I'm not moving to the edge of the boat. So it's there on the bottom of the boat. Ugh. All right. And I would definitely have a minus to my perception because I'm not looking around. I might hear it, though. You guys are not surprised when out of the churning waters things pop up at the edge of the boat. Let me see if I got a picture of them. I do. They look like that. Man. Fuck that. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. Them, no. Capital and capital O. And at the back of the boat, something pops out of the water. It looks like this. Ooh, pretty. Pretty, but probably really scary. If I... And um, I don't have all of the the cool doodads as Finn and Drake have, where I can have you automatically roll your initiative. So um, I'll have you guys roll the initiative. Because I'm my head is down, I'm grasping the bench. Okay, cool. So it's, and it's I'm throwing for a up. role play reason, not a uh, like your character just has disadvantage on initiative forever and ever. Gotcha. All right, the elf wizard who won't tell us his name <sighs> is up first. Elf, there's these. You don't know what they are. They're kind of fish men thingies whatever they are they're horrid and they're grasped onto the sides of your boat they look like they want to drag you in what would you like to do Reno, can you hear us? Oh, ice knife. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I think because we can't hear him, it's probably going to take him just a little bit of a delay to respond in the chat. That, that, that's, that's fine. fine. As, as now that I'm aware, I'll wait for him to respond in chat. All right. Go ahead and do your thing. Which one are, do you want to attack? Okay. 
Okay, number four, let me. That is a number four. Is a hit. Do some damage to number four. All right. Yeah, I sniped a nasty little spell. That's a cantrip, is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, no, it's a first level spell. Does it do anything besides damage, though? Oh, hit or miss, it then explodes. The target... Ooh, succeed on a dexterity saving throw. So let me have him make a dexterity. Dexterity. Which he did. So he won't take the additional damage as it explodes. And there's nobody else close enough to him to take that damage. Deep one, number one. With enormous eyes, a wide mouth, and almost no chin, the deep ones are hideous fish-like folk, often hunched and scaled when encountered in coastal villages. Nah. Number one. Well, come into the boat. And try to grapple with pancake. Number two. Anybody hear me now? Yes. We yes, we're hearing now. Uh, yeah. I love some of that one. One reaches to try to grab Breck of the Light, but the piece of the rowboat railing breaks. And he slips back. Number oh, three. So sad. I can tell it's going to be a my monster suck kind of night. All right, he's hey, trying man, to you grab you. You built you built this character. He's got an AC of eighteen. Oh yeah, I built. I, I made him decent. I half orcs are my favorite player character race only because they really don't do goblins justice. Same. All right, number four. Didn't like that ice knife bit. Uh, grabs hold of Argus. Argus, um, you can make me, uh, well, on your turn. Right now, he has grabbed hold of you. You are grappled. The bastard. And on his next turn... Okay. He's going to try to drag you out of this boat. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. I say nay. Inch, the thief. I'm going to go and steal their wallets. So do we call you Inch or do we call you Calico? Inch. Inch, inch. Mm -hmm. As she inches her hands closer to that sense of looking watch. You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys are wearing hats, I gotta wear a hat too, you know. 
from the sea then. You can thank Atomic Hero Squad for the Sven silliness. All right, Almost so <laughs> as uh, I think it's number two over here on this side, yep. Yeah. Who tried to climb in. I'm just kind of going to, I'm going to grab my dagger in one hand, and I'm just going to try stabbing at him right there on the side of the boat. Okay, actually, number two fell back into the water because he fumbled. He oh. is not holding out to the boat. Yes, he fumbled okay. trying to grab Breck. Well, hang on a second. And then four next to you is holding on to Argus. Yes, four has hold of Argus. Then let's attack number four. So something Perfect. that you may not be aware of is if you don't move, you can use a special thing that allows you to get advantage on your attack Ooh. as a rogue. Okay, so how does that work? I'm not moving. I'm just going to stab his, stab his happy little self. Then you just click advantage. Okay. Do your attack. How does what what does she do that gets advantage? It's She's the, just uh, um, masterful strike. I think it's called. It's the new. It's the uh, thing from Tasha's. What level did they get it at? Three. Let me look. Three. Is it is it an alternative power? It's right here in Rogue. It is called okay. Steady Aim, third level. And okay. It's optional class feature of Rogue. Then yes, you go ahead and add it. The wizard didn't, but you can show her how to add it. Okay, thank you. All right, so stabby stabby. It uses up your bonus action. All right, you hit him. So that means you get this sneak attack. You would have anyway, but. You'll have to manually roll the sneak attack. I don't have all these things coded. Drake's rich. He can afford all, uh, all the Rob Tui, uh, Rob Tui modules. And it's how many dice at your level? Let me look. So what do I roll for a sneak attack? What size die? D6. Yes, let me look on the road table for sneak attack. Hold on. At 4d6. Roll 4d6. Oh, nice. And I'll add the damage. Ow. Boom. Stabba, stabba. He did not like that. Now, did you you threw that dagger right? It is sticking in him right now. You might lose it. No, I don't right. think I threw it. I think I just reached over and stabbed him. If you mm -hmm. stabbed him, you would have had to move up to stab him because oh. you don't have reach with it. Oh, okay. Well, then no, I didn't move. She threw it. At him. Uh, uh, so it is sticking in him. Breck, it is your turn. All right, so I can, as I'm holding on to this bench, I can feel Pancake's foot next to me, and I can sort of squint open my eye just a bit to see Argas and Inch. So you hit... Uh, Maybe here it is. <coughs> the power of Desna shine through Breck of the Light. <coughs> and uh, the light will shine around the three of them as they glow around them. And I will bless them. Woo! Hashtag blessed. 
I bear, I sort of lift one hand from its death grip and, and do the motions I need to and then grab back onto the bench. One, two, did it work? Two, and three, it did, okay. Pancake. It's Pancake's turn. Uh, so he's gonna, uh, grab his, uh, battle axe and shield now, and he's going to, uh, dang, I've got two of them that are, one's on the boat, one's, like, holding onto the boat. Um, but he's a protection fighter, so I think he's gonna do the one that's closer to his, uh, party member, so he's going to go ahead and, uh, try to use his battle axe against, uh, Deep One Three. Oh, okay. get off boat! I'm hashtag blessed. Hold on, blocked. Sven. I think your um, bless is a bane because that was oh, minus yeah. four. Wait, I'm like, wait a second. I rolled oh, a 17. Yeah, How was it right. 19? My bad. I'll fix it. All okay. right. And that's, so, a hit. that's still yeah, a hit. That's still a hit. Absolutely right. <laughs> hey, I'm sick, man. Give me a He's break. He's sick. He's a little confused. And it's gonna do that damage. And he's a fighter, so he's going to attack again. Eight damage, huh? Yeah. Damn. And he's. I think he's just kind of screaming in its face. Get off boat! <laughs> yeah, hold on, I need to. Okay, there we go. A coral drake. What can it do? Bad things, I'm assuming. <laughs> That's going to fly in. Is it attacking the deep one? Nope, yes. it's attacking Pancake. Man, I guess at least I'm the one in the back of the boat. And it comes up and it bites you hard. Stings you. Bastion. And you succeed on your saving throw. Well, I'm just looking at these monsters and it's like, wow. <laughs> They're a little bit overpowered. I might have to tune them down a little bit. <laughs> I'm I'm serious. Uh, this is a, a published module for seven level characters, and it's like, gosh, dang, this is out of control. So I'm going to do a little bit of modification here at the very least. Don't forget, Reno, on, your, on the dude that's grappling you on his next turn, he's going to drag you into the water, so you might want to not be grappled. It is... Argus's turn, the Elf Wizard. So how do I ungrabble? You can make your choice of an athletics or an acrobatics roll. Or if you grab or, a um, Misty Step, if you have that spell. Um, I think I do. Actually, hold on. It also depends on what flavor I Elf I you are. You might even have it too. as a racial thing. Uh, let's see what I picked. I picked. Just really misty, I, I missed a step. The same thing. 
Yep, Misty Step is exactly. You could Misty Step as a bonus action and step right out of his grasp. You could step okay. to the front of the boat. Right. Or 30 feet in any direction. <laughs> well, if you want to go into the water, feel free. Yeah, I don't know. I prefer not to, though. Or you can ride the Drake. All right, so do you Be careful you do for that? Nope, you'll just move right there. Nope, you just move. <laughs> spend your spell slot. Spend your spell slot. And that was only a bonus action. You still have a regular action. Okay. Uh, you can cast a cantrip as a regular action because yeah. you cast a spell as a bonus action. Right, right. I've got the uh, uh, mage hand or bonfire. What's bonfire do? That's our chip on five. Yeah, let's not do that. I got mage hand, I think. It would. It says what? There's a floating hand appears for you. I have a duration of the other things. Three feet with me. You can use it. You control the hand. You can use it to manipulate objects. Oh, this is the one where you can, like, a pound and a half. You can move something? Yes. You can't. Okay, so that's not going to be much good. I don't know. I don't know. You should have like four or five cantrips, though, don't you? Yeah, he's uh, short. Of... Fire, light, mending, and, and magic hands. You, you're, oh, okay. you are missing two cantrips. If you want, add two cantrips. You can add another attack cantrip. Okay. That'd be lovely. Where do I go for that? Um, go to spells, zero level spells, wizard. Okay. Spells, brother, spells. Our spells. Right hand side of the table. Um, yeah, I'm there. Under character, there'll be a category that says spells. No, that's not it. <sighs> Just comes up with the uh, character thing. There, there, nothing. Oh, you didn't Player, make Yeah. Have you loaded any modules? Not today. Ah, uh, then, yes. Um, you will need to go to modules, and you will need to load your modules in order to have anything. Modules is under library, also on the right-hand side. Click on modules and then yep. activation and activation. fire all those up. File all them up. Okay, load. Okay, this, everybody. 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 Then when you go back to spells and open spells under source, you can choose wizard. And then under level, you can choose zero, and it will show you all the zero level wizard spells. Okay. Okay, so where was spells again? I'm not seeing it anywhere. All right, so under character. The next one down, under character. Yep. Yeah. Spells. When you bring up the spells window, you'll yep. see at the bottom source you can choose wizard. Okay, wizard. Uh, not a jewelry circle. Oh, God damn it. Oh, my God. All right. Okay, I'm choosing wizard and then. Under level, you can choose zero. And it'll choose zero, show you all the zero level wizard spells. Nice. And yeah, you can add you can add two more to your sheet. Thanks. It's a lot of shit here. Okay, I'll look through this stuff. And unless you got suggestions, you can just take two offensive ones. Acid splash. Uh, 
Just lights, firebolts. Anybody have any suggestions on this? Crossbites. I would splash. choose. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I would choose something with range like Ray of Frost, Acid Splash, or um, um, what Firebolt. is it? Firebolt. I would choose one of those three. Okay. Well, they all have That's their pros cool. and cons. Oh, yeah. Acid Splash is. It has. It can get a second target. If they're adjacent. And of course, far fewer things are immune to acid damage than fire or ice. Right. That's that's the kind of uh, d damage that she takes. Is uh, I mean, that that spell makes poison spray. Woo Ray of Frost. You know what that one's about? Ray of Frost just does damage, but it also slows people down. Yep, yep, yep. This is poison spray. What's the true, what's the true strike here? True strike. What does that say? It says. Poison spray does the most damage of the range, but it's only got a 10 foot range, but it does a lot of damage. Okay. Well, I'm looking like I'm going to be up close and personal anyway, for the most part. It doesn't make sense, though, with a wizard. He said you get to pick two. I know. I'm looking at it. I, so I'm picking one. It's going to be the... Uh, where the hell was it now? Uh, the... Uh, up on fire. He was uh, the firebolt, I think, was a good one. All right, you can drag that under your character sheet on the actions tab. On the actions tab, okay. Actions. Stop it. Now I got one more uh, for cantrips. That worked. Okay, and then uh, let's do uh, what was poison spray. So, gonna blow back in my face. Nah, never. Poison him. Okay, we'll go with that one. So poison spray. Bring it on. Oh, can't trip. There we go. All right, now you may use one of your brand new cantrips. Um, okay, let's do, uh, I think, Poison Spray. Poison Spray says, it's a cantrip, extend your hand towards a creature you see within range and project a puff of noxious gas from your palm. The creature must succeed in a constitution saving throw or take 1d12 poison damage. Hold on, at your level. That's 2d12 poison damage, I believe. Uh, okay, cool. Isn't it fifth level? Fifth level yes. when yeah. cantrips step up a match? Okay, there yep. you go. Then you can um, grab that con saving throw and drop it on him. Okay. Or I can just roll in the con saving throw. Yeah. Uh, under poison spray, if you click the little magnifier, it'll open up and you'll see that there's a little button yeah. that says con DC 15. If you grab yeah. that button, you can drag yeah. it right onto the monster on the map and it'll force oh, him to okay. make a saving throw. Okay. I get it now. Hold on. I got all crap out of my map. Okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. One second. Grab it and bring it over. I want to see this guy right there. It's number four. I'm going to do it. Did he get it? Yeah, he, wanted me. Mm, he made his saving throw. 
so it does no damage. I think that's it, right? I'm, I'm and that is it. Window creep. And get back to the combat checker. Deep one number one is in the boat. Again, is trying to grab pancake, but can't seem to get hold of that slippery chainmail you're wearing. Thankfully. Number two fumbled last. He's going to have to swim back to the boat this round. That's all he can do. Number three. does successfully grapple pancake no. and that's all he can deep one number four Tries to grab the halfling and misses. Inch, it's your turn. That's all right. Thank you for coming much closer to me. I am going to reach out and grab my dagger. <laughs> Easily nice. done. Pull it back then, out of his chest and stab him with it. And then I'm going to stab him with it again. Only this time I'm hanging on. Uh, you got him. Boop, boop. All right, roll 46 for your sneak attack. <laughs> nice. Wow. Nice. Whoop, whoop. And he hollers in pain big time. That sounded like it hurt. If you have a second dagger, you may stab him again as a bonus action. Whoa! With the offhand. Awesome. I do. <laughs> All right. He looks hurting for certain. Breck. Breck, this guy's got you grappled. He wants to take you for a swim. Well, Wait, actually, I he doesn't. I'm, I'm grappling the uh, bench. That's why I put that on me. Oh, that's I'm right. Not... Okay, that's right. You, you are grappling. You are self-grappled. Yes. He's trying to... Well, he's come back to the boat. Yep. He tried to grab you before, and part of the railing broke off, but now he's back again. So I'm still got my head down, still clutching this thing as a boat is rocking back and forth now as these creatures are trying to get in it. Uh, pancakes yelling and screaming and trying to kick these things off, and he, his weight alone is throwing this thing crazy. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, light of does not shine through... Break of the light and my shield, which is on my back, which has my big holy symbol on it, flashes in a in this blast of light. And each hostile creature within thirty feet of me must make a save. Take radiant damage. If they fail, half. If they uh, save. Seventeen and eight, not bad. So this light comes and 
blast into all of them. Not bad damage. Pancake. Pancake is grappled, uh, and he would like to not be grappled anymore. So. Well, uh, um. The acro or athletics? You yep, and so you're proficient with it, with bolt. So, um, because you're a remarkable athlete, you're. You get half your proficiency bonus added to that. So you have, um, at this level, I guess, round downs for another plus one to that on top of your... Let me re read how that works. Uh, you so add half your proficiency the, bonus. It doesn't already use my proficiency bonus, so I don't think Oh, uh, okay. It. So no, you don't get it. Which is why I just added half proficiency on uh, sleight of hand and stealth. Uh, okay. Darn, if only, though. Uh, so I roll an athletics check? Yep. Opposed by his. Oh, he doesn't have athletics. Oh, grab pancake. Actually, no, he doesn't use his dexterity. I'm sorry. Strength on that. Same. <laughs> Worse. Uh, so pancake is struggling uh, and uses action to uh, try to break the grapple. Uh, and then he's going to use his bonus action to get that second wind healing because he is not doing great. He's bloodied. Woo. Not bad. Good healing. And that's his turn. He's struggling. The radiant damage. The Coral Drake did not like the radiant damage. So, where did my map go? All right, the Drake. Let's attempt to attack Pancake again. This time. Miss with the sting. Shouldn't he have some sort of... I, I mean, shouldn't he have some sort of advantage because I'm grappled? No, grappled only means you can't move until you break the grapple. You are not restrained. Oh, that's what I was thinking of. Yes, you are not restrained. You are only grappled. Alright, and then his... Bite does hit. You do a lot of damage. He does at least. Argus, your turn again. All right, use your wizardly spells. Kill them all. He uses fireball. <laughs> Actually, as a evoker, he can shape fireball. Yes, he can. He could. I think it would also set our boat on fire, though. So maybe. No, nope, you can shape it around the boat too. <laughs> nice. I don't see why not. We know you there. If you are talking, we cannot hear you. Uh, 
No, we see that. You can see your typing. There's a lot to choose from. Bear in mind, you are an evoker, so if you have an area effect spell that's an invocation, you can lay it down and your friends won't get touched by it. Sphere, not a bad choice. Um, draw a small circle in the in the square you want it to appear in. So Flaming Spear Perfect. causes a flame, and then it will burn anybody that ends its turn next to it, and every turn you can have it attack somebody. Yep. Every turn you can have it. It appears right there. Um, let's see. Any creature that ends its turn, let's make the saving throw, and you can force it against him. Um, and go ahead and have him make that saving throw. You push a flaming spear up his scaly backside. He failed. Do your damage. Nice. Look, they're vulnerable to fire. He screams in pain and dies. Now, is he able to move it the same turn he summons it? Absolutely, but he won't be able to push it against anybody else because he right. just pushed it against that guy. Actually, ends their turn next to it. actually, I don't know that he's able to move it. In this, let me look at the spell again. I don't know that he's able to move it in the same round he... Yeah, I don't remember. Let's see, it appears da, 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 as a bonus action. If you want to use your bonus action, um, well, if that that ram would have been his bonus action. Okay. But okay. But yeah, they're not liking that at all. And in fact, uh, let's see. Number one failed his wisdom check and says nope to the fire. Yeah. Number two. Does that provoke an opportunity attack? Yes. Well, it would, <laughs> but I've already... Um, You've already deleted him. I've already deleted him. This is what it's going to do is... Um, he also failed his. Um, and they're going to... The first one having ran, the others are going to run. And the drake 
is is smart enough but it won't go into the water and pancake if you would like you can have an opportunity attack on it as it pleases well it does not they do not like the fire you said on the uh drake yes Fish fry, yum yum. Hey man, gotta take it where I can get it. <laughs> All right, and you slash at it as it too will fly away. Now, you guys have learned something. These things do not like fire and will take pains to avoid it. How long does that spell last? It lasts up to a minute. So it will be gone by the time you reach shore. But if he keeps it out, it could act as like a deterrent or something. Yes, it will keep anything else from messing with your ship before. Um... All right. And we're back to this. You row with all your might towards the island, do dodging, jetting rocks while peering through the thick mist. Eventually, you feel your ship run aground. The mist hangs heavy in the air, which is laden with the stench of decay. Before you stretches a vast swamp, dark, wet, and full of danger. It stretches for miles in either direction and might make up the entire island for all you know. What do you guys want to do? So I'm going to wait until it hits land. And then I'm going to get out of the boat as fast as possible. All right. You're not sure what you would call what you hit land but it's not ocean so close enough we can hear you reno just hang on yes yes yeah, yeah. yeah pancake is the one steering so <laughs> i'm securing my oars i'm jumping out of the boat and walking to the ground whatever okay or whatever the water there is Come on, Bragg, it won't kill you. Let's go. Uh, he's going to pull up the ship to be further on the ground so like it for sure won't like float away. Because we do not want that. All right. Um. Question, can Breck swim at all? Or is it just like... No. Never learned to swim. Hates water. Okay. Oof. Somewhere in the distance, you guys hear a strange chanting of not human voices. Nope. Um, as you stand here on the edge of the swamp, I imagine you will make your way in. On the party sheet, I need you to arrange yourselves in the order you wish to march. I'm going to clean myself up, use my almost unused water skin to rinse out my mouth, and then use my other two water skins that have ale in them. Drink a little bit. Get my strength back. I think uh, for the marching order, I think Pancake would be in front, right? He's like typically like the hardest to hit, and I think he'd be the one that would likely want to go in first. 
Unless we want to have the uh, rogue in the front that like checks for traps or something. I think I'm fine as a second. Do you want a single file? However you guys want to do it. Yeah. It's, a, it's a swamp, not a dungeon. You can go four abreast if you want. <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll just walk next to Inch behind. This is the way it's set up now. I don't know if Argus wants to be that far back, but I can't move him. You want to join us? Ooh, in front. Okay, so he's up front. <laughs> All right. You have the swamp ahead of you. I will take a nature or a survival check from anybody that has proficiency with one of these skills. I do not have either. Yeah! Pancake sees all. <laughs> I'm Pancake says, says look. look, there's a path through the swamp and you guys take off um <laughs> you're moving through the swamp you know it's it's nasty there are bugs you see things moving around in the water it's just generally a, a horrible experience make me another nature check to stay on course do we want to take a nature break specifically? before we head out into this swamp Pancake, you're not looking too good. I'm not feeling too good. Do you guys want to take a short rest on the shore? I think it would be beneficial for Pancake for sure. Okay. Then, um, Breck, i have you roll me a d12. Do not get a 1. On a 1, you have a random encounter, and it will interrupt your rest. That is not a 1. Let me push a short rest, expend hit dice if you need to. And I'm going to heal him once, so let me do that. Uh, I'm just trying to find my stupid spell. Where'd it go? I've been playing another game, Castles and Crusades, which is much less forgiving. There are no such thing as short rests. And on a long rest, you get one hit point back. Oh. That's awful. I wouldn't play that game. Starfinder is the same way. Well, Starfinder, you get equal to your level back. But, no, it's a, a very different kind of game. Thanks, Breck. Pancake feels much better now. <laughs> You know what? I'm not too sure we're gonna get very many more short rests. So I'm gonna roll another hit die. Oh dang! Boom! There you go. I've rolled two hit dice, and both of them were max. It's great. <laughs> but I only needed nine hit points, so we're good. All right, you are successful, or I see. Argus made a nature check. He's successful. Um, that is two successful nature checks navigating the swamp. I need one more, and you can, if you made it before, you can make it again, or a survival check. Pancake is good at survival, so he's going to try that. Oh. You guys see smoke up ahead. That's a good thing, right? They don't like fire. Oh, well, depends on what's burning. Whether or not it's good. Not it's good. It depends on if it's a different creature. Make me a perception check. Everybody. Nope. 
is for perception. Actually, P is for performance. Here we go, perception. <laughs> I'm making a big deal out of listening. Breck, you're not sure what's burning, but it doesn't smell good. You guys going to continue on? Or do you want to avoid the smoke? Is the smoke in the direction that the path is going? More or less, yes. I have a feeling this might not be a good thing. We should go check it out and see if anybody needs our help. Are you all going to go? Or are you going to send somebody in stealthy? Hey, we should send Inch. She can see what's going on before, you know, I let us get found with my heavy armor. I don't mind scouting ahead. All right. Um, then do me a favor. Make me a stealth check as you scout ahead. A 10 is a basic success. So you creep up and you can see ahead is a little rise in the swamp, a little bit of dry ground atop which sits the biggest mushroom you've ever seen. It's about 15 feet tall and about twice as wide with a great big old toadstool cap. Um, there appears to be a chimney stovepipe sticking out of the top of it, out of which smoke is coming. There is a small round window in the side of it facing you. What would you like to do? And here you can smell the smoke. It definitely doesn't smell good. Whatever, whatever is burning is foul. It's nasty. I'm going to go back to my friends and I'm going to tell them what I saw. Um, you know, we've we've encroached upon the evil mushroom city, not the fun and happy one. And uh, we should probably avoid it. It smells worse up close. So it didn't seem like they were, they had been attacked and looted and pillaged. It looks like they're burning something on purpose. It, it looked like a mushroom house with a stovepipe coming out of it. For all I know, they could be cooking dinner, but it doesn't smell good. And I honestly would rather skirt around. But that's just me. I will defer to the group decision. Sounds good. The skirt. All right, I will need another nature or survival check to avoid this. Uh, pancake was ruined so well before. Bear in mind, though, at 5e D and D, 10 is a success unless there are modifiers added to it. Good to know. That was interesting. I'm like, yeah, where'd the crickets come from? I don't know. I don't think it was my Sirenscape that did Okay. I was going to say, I, I didn't think we were watching Mulan. Gave a little whistle. Jiminy Cricket. When you wish upon a star. All right. I it am takes, a real boy. It takes a good portion of the day, but you navigate the swamp and ahead you see dry land and a structure rises up in front of you. A twisted thing made of coral, bone, and some unwholesome substance that you can't identify, but that appears to be alive. You see more of the deep ones patrolling around the outside of it. How are they patrolling? Are they in groups or individuals? 
they are um, in groups of two. As you guys watch from the edge of the swamp, obviously they have not seen you yet. They're in groups of two, except for one, which is, um, let me uh, bring up this image. And are they able to see each other? So if we hit one. Um, at any time, any group of two may or may not be in range of the others. Okay. So it would be possible to time it to um, only hit one of those groups. But there's one guy. Let me um, pull up this picture. He's got one of these on a leash. Brother fuck. Are there eyes on all of the tentacles or just that mm -hmm. one? All of them. Yep. Ugh. They're good garbage like disposals. We need one chained up by the back garage so that um he can guard the alley. Nice. Okay. Would I, um, as a hill dwarf, level seven, would, would I know what this thing is? Yes, you've seen them before. Yeah, those artyogs are, uh, usually kept in inside and people throw garbage at them a lot of times uh, I've never seen one ambulatory like that just keep away from his tentacles what do they do they grab you and bring it to his mouth oh they're full of yeah, diseases and grossness sense. cause they usually eat garbage and uh, dead things And the weird chanting that you could hear before comes from within this temple structure. I say we try to lure some of them away, maybe hit a couple of them with some longer spells, draw them out. I'll be right back. <clears throat> we could also, like, hide a pile of garbage for the Atsiyag to try to eat, right? Would that pull them away? It could, you know, using a distraction to get inside the building is not necessarily a bad idea. Wow. So as what is our range right now to the building and what is the terrain around us? I'd say um, the swamp goes almost right up to the building. You guys are about a hundred feet out and you can see, you can't see it clearly, but you can catch glimpses and you can see the patrols moving around. So it's a forest Actually, swamp. Let me, um, yes, it is a forest swamp. Let me share that with you. You can see, um, that is way bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> Yes, yes, it is big. One might even call it large. Yes, it is large. <laughs> and you said the purple stuff is the stuff we don't know what it is, but it seems alive. Yeah, the the temple seems to be made out of it. Technically, you shouldn't be able to see the inside of the temple, but it would be real difficult for me to draw a mask and I'll only mask the inside. So assume you cannot right. see the inside, but. And are the walls the same purple stuff or different? The, the walls are coral and bone. Okay. Gotcha. So the whole temple looks like it may have grown here. Man, that's 
Neat. <laughs> and it is certainly unsettling. So are they going in circles or are they st stationary, the guards? They're, they're mostly stationary. Ooh, good, good, good. Occasionally, um, this group over here might wander around occasionally. Well, no, so I you guys can get up close with stealth. Either light a fire out in the fort in the swamp, see if that might draw them away, or try to sneak up as close as we can and take out these two by themselves as quick as we can. Those are my only two things I can think of. You guys want to come around and hit it from that side? Anybody else have any ideas? I don't know what spells you have, Argus. Lighting fire in swamp could work. I have torch and I have tinderbox. It might be a little bit hard to find something to burn, though. Yeah, everything here looks pretty damp. Uh, and Pancake already threw out the idea of trying to lure the Atya away with food, but Mantha doesn't know anything about these guys, so I don't know if that would work. Well, the one thing you do know about these guys is that they were terrified of that flaming sphere when it showed up last time. I think the biggest problem is where are we going to get up? a bunch of food? Uh, we could try, I don't know, try to find something in the swamp. I've got some rations here, but... Well, there was that giant mushroom back there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got ten torches. We, if we tie those ten torches to a tree and light them, it will light the leaves and stuff and cause a big black smoke to come up. And survival is one of the few things that Pancake knows about, so like, yeah, he thinks that that would work because wet things do burn, like, really give off a lot of smoke, so. I think it would at least be a good enough distraction for them to check it out and uh, for us to be able to sneak in to where a couple of them leave. Is that well, what you want to do? Why don't Light up a tree? Stay. You know, Sneaking if you want to not... burn a tree, your wizard has the bonfire cantrip. It will burn things. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so Ooh, we could Pancake, you can tie the torches then... up, the rest of us, and then uh, inch. Uh, what's the range of bonfire? I want to say it's 60 feet, but could be longer. We don't want it too far away because they won't see it. So I say, Pancake, 60 feet. since you know what you're doing with knots, you tie the torches up to the tree. And then we all move away. Get ready. Argos does the bonfire. And hopefully this Is this what you guys want to do? Go start a fire and... Um... Actually, that's exactly what's going to happen is this priest and the Atyag and the deep one that are closest to that side will go investigate the fire, leaving that entrance to the whatever this is open. Nice. What I will need, though, is a group stealth check. I need at least two of you to succeed. And you can, if that's what you're trying to do, get inside this building unmolested. Okay, so I'm going to guide myself. Does not give break of the light silence as I sneak through this nasty swamp. Stealth is not Pancake's thing. 
Clank, 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 clank. Did I not apply it? Brick, Brick made his. That's weird. I didn't apply it. I thought oh, it I'm more than made mine. Oh, I um, didn't apply it. Guidance. Has to be targeted. Uh, so it's uh, plus two, so 14. All right. 10 was a success. And this priest will get out there. Um, Sven, this was your idea. Roll me a d12. Let's see if... Four. No, it didn't draw the others away. If only... probably shouldn't ask, but does everybody here have dark vision, by the way? No. Oh, no. Halfling and a dwarf don't. Oh, I do. Dwar I guess dwarf, I do. dwarf should have dark vision. Halfling won't. So, inch doesn't. But it's daytime, you said. It's like evening, isn't it? Maybe I misunderstood. No, it's daytime. Oh, nice. Yes, those three went to join him. So I'm going to add you to the map. Right out here at the end. Ooh, nice. You have managed to get to the door. You can let me do this. You can place yourselves anywhere within that square you like. I don't want to be near the purple thing, so I'll go there. Oh, here, let me unlock tokens there. Now you can move. And you can see... Oh, he looks just like the rest of them. Is that a hammer or a just a staff? What where? The deep one, Archimandrite. What is he wielding? It looks like a trident of some sort. Okay. I've got a picture of it. Let me show. Oh, okay, cool. They're leaving, so they came to say goodbye. With enormous eyes, a wide mouth, and almost no chin, the deep face. Deep ones are hideous fish like folk. And that guy is huge. He's like nine feet tall. And they're standing, and this is what you see inside um, a great toothy mouth, like that of a lamprey, is carved out of the coral of the temple. It glistens, and a palpable evil presence emanates from it. Whatever power motivates this island, it is surely located in the bottom of that maw. Well, isn't that creepy?
and let me the, the image the chamber you're in this large chamber lit by dimly glowing fungus on the walls is well it's not full of deep ones in robes <laughs> one of them gesticulating wildly as others throw an unfortunate dwarf down a gaping hole in the center of the room and what boo racist <laughs> Well, my. Uh, and you guys get there just in time to see the priest check that guy, and you hear ah crunch, and it stops. Well, he probably deserved it. So what do you guys want to do? They have not noticed you yet. But soon enough, that group that was guarding this door will be back. Sneak in and hug the outside wall. All right. I think Let's have to another. Take the crew. I'm going to say, uh, once you get set up, I'll, I'm, I'll throw a... flaming sphere over there and I'll may the light, light of Desna help you as you try to hide and I'll give your guidance alright we're going to do this you guys where you're at now have a surprise round you'll each get one round to act before they get initiative Let's have you guys each roll initiative. All right. Can Inch keep the double digits nope. going? Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, that works. it works. <laughs> All right. So, inches first. You guys have a surprise round. Um, you have advantage on attacks this round, which means if your attack hits, you get sneak attack damage. Huh. All right, let's see here. Mm. So I'm right there. My speed is, what is my speed? 25. Okay. So we have initiative. Hey, come on, I'm trying to move me. Twenty twenty five. What am I going to throw? If you want, because I don't think you already had one, with the money that you were paid, you could have added a bow and arrows to your sheet. If you want to do that. I have a short bow on here already. Well, there you go. Shoot him with that. Thank you. Because your sneak attack does work with short bow. Yes, it does. Uh, you have a advantage. Right. Roll again and see if you crit. All right, roll 46 with the sneak attack. That's and which one. one were you attacking, the big guy or the priest? I forgot. Um, 
I believe it's the priest. It says deep one hybrid priest number two. Okay. And you shoot him with an arrow. <clears throat> it hurt quite a bit. Argus. Are those pink things blocking range no. or anything? Okay. Nope. This is all open area, except for the maw itself, which is um, an open pit. The pink things are what's glowing that's giving out the light in the room. But they're neither difficult terrain nor an obstruction, visibly. Although they could be destroyed if you wanted to make it dark. All right, Argus, what do you got? Looks like we lost Reno altogether. He is not in the chat either. I mean, he's in Discord. Oh, there he is. Okay, yes, I do see him now. If you have been talking, Reno, we can't hear you. All right, being as it is a surprise round, we'll wait for him. We'll let Breck take his surprise round. All right, so I'm going to run in. I want to... I'm going to be watching five, ten, I also have 25. Um, I'm going to be watching this Archimandrite. Uh, I want so that after he does stuff, I want to be able to tell whether or not his magic, um, which he's clearly doing, does it appear to be arcane or um divine and uh, so it would definitely be our um divine okay and then i'm going to go ahead and uh hold up my shield and so i mumble something behind it a little spark comes out and when it hits here, boom, it will explode. 15, 20. <sighs> As I run by uh, Pancake, I'll say, hey, Pancake, I'll give you a platinum for every one you throw into the maw. Oh, hold on just I can try. a second. My DC is wrong for this. Let me switch it. Wisdom. Okay, sorry. Shoot, fireball goes off. Nice. Got rid of two of them. Nice. Um... And Pancake's gonna run in. Do you want to lock the tokens?
inches in like four spaces right now. It's fine. And that 15 feet. I couldn't tell where I was. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's all 30 feet of my movement speed. I can't get up there. That's rough. Okay. Um, I guess I've got hand axes that I can throw. Uh, so uh, Pangu is going to throw a hand axe. Am I completely in a square now? Yes. I, I am not particular about that. However... My rule is, if you're only partly in a square, and you're partly in multiple squares, and an area effect hits one of the squares you're partially in, you're in that square. Gotcha. Okay. Well, does Action Surge give you more movement speed? Action Surge gives you one extra action, either movement or so yes, you could action surge to step your last step up and then um, use your regular attack to attack. It's not worth it. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't For say it minute. is, no. You want to, yeah. And if you want to have multiple hand axes on your sheet, I don't see why you wouldn't. Like I said, these character sheets didn't get fine polished. So Pancake is running up, uh, and he's, you know, he's, uh, in his runner's form, he's an athlete, and just, like, right at this last, uh, five feet, he, like, stumbles, and he's, like, already on his way to, like, throw the hand axe, and, like, just, like, a loose rock, like, makes him, like, stumble to the side, and it just goes, whoosh, right past the dude, and, like... I don't know. Embeds itself in the bone wall across. You, the you, if you have multiple hand axes, you get two attacks around. Ooh. Yep. Okay. You can even do it offhand. Yes, yeah, so you can throw a third one offhand if you have enough. Like I said, you got paid twenty-five platinum pieces, so. I might you, buy a few hand axes real quick. Yes, like I said, I'll allow I'll allow that to be to retro. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that. Same thing with javelins, daggers. I don't know how many hand axes. It's too many hand axes. You've got an 18 strength. You should be fine. <laughs> I have a Fi 14 strength. Oh, that's right. I'm a fighter. That doesn't sound right. What it says. What the hell? It didn't apply any of the racial bonuses, and it did not apply any of the level advancement bonuses that were applied. Character wizard has failed again. Your strength should be way higher than that. <laughs> wow, I'm not ever going to use that thing again. Fantasy I'm Grounds, so you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> there, I just made your strength an 18 because I know it should be higher than that. Okay. I just bought a bunch of hand axes, so... Throw another one. Bruh. Nah. Oh, that's worse. Oh, wait. Do I still have advantage? Um, yeah, you do. There we go. That's more like it. So that one does something. If barely anything, okay. All right. And we still have Argus should make his attack. Yeah, I'll wait to uh, hit next then. And I think at the end of Pancake's... Oh, 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 you've got, if you've got an offhand attack, go ahead and make it. Oh, no, I don't have an offhand attack, I don't think. I think he's just trying to uh, get his shield and battle axe ready uh, so that's his turn uh, and if Argus wants to go or if you want to move it to Argus's turn 
I saw Argus move, so unless somebody else moved him. No, he moved him. Yeah. Fireball. So you can Fireball just, is a good move. You can just be cool and do it right here in the middle of everywhere. And just weave it around us. <laughs> yes, especially since fire is a bugaboo for these things. Oh, he went to fire a bolt, not fire a ball. You would also have advantage, though, so you should roll again. There you go. That'll do. Nice. That'll do. Yeah, that will do. You lit him up. Smells like Friday fish fry in here. Just need some cornbread. Advance to a new round. Deep one. Archimandrite. Does not look happy. I wouldn't either if I was on fire, literally. Why am I missing it? Where's oh, Breck is down there. That's all right. So he very smartly went in the other direction. Two of us have fireball, so I'm very familiar with <laughs> AOE spells. <laughs> failed at life though. I, sh I realized there's something I should have done better. It's alright, I'll do it this round. And Deke one Archimandrite calls down an ice storm. Right there. Ouch. And that area is difficult terrain. Priest gets his turn now. All right, let's see what he wants to do. Jump in the pit. No, well, he's going to step up. It's only difficult terrain after the initial. Okay. And he tried to cast inflict wounds on you and failed. Inch, it is your turn. All right. Well, I should have that same guy targeted now, correct? Let's see. No, no I no. don't. Yeah, I do. Now I do. I think. Now I do. do. All right. Gonna attack him as soon as I get back to that page. Shoot another arrow from my bow. Oh, 
Were you going to use your bonus action to give yourself advantage with it? If so, make a second roll. Okay. Thirteen will hit. Nice. Now roll me four d six for that lovely sneak attack. Sweet. He looks like he's like barely standing after you fire that arrow and him sinks into his shoulder. Argus. Argus is looking kind of rough. That ice storm beat him hard. Thankfully, he's not a lower level wizard. He has hit points. Okay. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Poison spray only has a range of 10 feet. You will have to get closer. All right, and I'm not doing that one. Okay, there you are. You are here. <laughs> but it looks like the Deep One Hybrid Priest isn't going to take another shot. So whatever you hit him with should put him down. Already targeting. Oh, uh, you do have you do have the Archimandrite targeted. You hit it. Do your damage. hurting bad. I Breck love that we found out very of the light. Yes. Don't like fire. They don't like fire. Fire right. is a great equalizer. Now slide over to here and uh, I'm going to thank uh, that's not thank you. Good idea and uh you know, whisper and these little motes, almost like fireflies, will appear in wanna make sure I don't get our wizard. Another fireball. Silence. As everything goes oh. quiet and yeah. stops them from no being, hopefully be able Hold to on. cast spells. Let me see. I don't think he has a counter spell. Hope he doesn't. He does not because counter spell is not a cleric spell. I was going to say, looking to see if I have it. I don't. <laughs> so if he can counter it, he can. No, he cannot counter it. All right, and here's the uh, details. Casting a spell that includes a verbal component isn't possible there. So, um, all right. And Argos, you would have seen this before, so you would know. In those little sparklies, don't you don't want to go there. And that's I moved and cast a spell. Oh. So Pancake's right at the edge so he can lean yeah. back and yell and then just lean forward and not be heard and lean back. Well, uh, Pancake is uh, going to do... <laughs> uh, uh. Everything just got quiet. Everything got real quiet. And you probably had Breck do this to you before, so it's oh, not yeah, entirely... Yeah. Uh, this is 20 feet of his movement speed. Uh, and... Uh, I He's gonna eat him. He's gonna eat him into the pit. 
<laughs> All right. It's his fault. He's hanging out in there. Make me an I'm waiting for him. If he doesn't. Make me an athletics check. Oh, wow. Crazy. I am good at athletics now. Nice. You are. No. No. Okay, but however, it was a... shoving, shoving only takes one of your. Uh, to, uh, you can try I again. Have two attacks. I can do it again. <laughs> and do we have inspiration? Yes, you should all have inspiration. I would, would like to give him my inspiration. I don't know how you uh, work it, if it's before or after. But... No, it's I, I allow it either way. To only announce it before you roll kind of makes it almost useless, in my opinion. Okay. So. Um, yeah, you can use it as a reroll. Okay, come on. No, I just want to shove this dude. Come 16, on. and here is his. So, my inspiration is available if you want. Because I wanted uh -oh. this. This is before the fight started. <laughs> he fell. Nice. I didn't you shove him back. back. He falls in the pit. Oh. Yeah. You guys, you don't hear any sound, but you just hear pa see Pancake's mouth like open as he's like screaming and like kind of pumping his fist. Right. Let's see if he survived the fall. No. <laughs> nice. Um, and then Pancake is going to. Uh, shoot, he only. So he used both of his uh, attack actions. Uh huh. Um, you still have ten feet of movement. You could step up to the other guy. Um. Yeah. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay. There's my other ten feet of movement. Um. And I think I'm gonna use my action surge to try to grapple this dude, so he can't get out of the silence. Okay. Nice. Action surge. Um, make your. Uh, it's an attack roll, I believe. I'm not sure. I believe for grab. It's an attack roll, and he on has his to turn, use his strength to grapple, and the guy grappled can use either strength or dex to get out. Is it an athletics check or an attack yes, roll? All right, make your athletics check, and I he might doesn't end up get. I using that inspiration. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. No, I think I'm good. I don't think I need to use All right. something. You're good. And he gets athletics or acrobatics to try to right. avoid it, and just oh, oh, he doesn't have athletics. He doesn't have acrobatics. Oh no! What a shame. What he does have is a 20 strength, but that's not enough. You can <laughs> feel he is immensely strong. Yeah. Uh, He's a big boy, and too. And second wind, or er, uh, action surge gives me another bonus action. Oh, that's so right. Second wind for that. And heal. Does I action surge him. give you another bonus action as well? I thought yeah. it just gave you a standard action. On your turn, you can take one additional action on top of your regular action and a possible bonus action. A regular I also, action. I also on top, didn't use my on top action. of your regular action and a bonus action. It doesn't oh. give you an additional bonus action, but if you haven't used it, you, use you may it still. Way, so. I'm very glad that I keep rolling good on these healings. Okay, now it's actually his turn. Alright. He does not like that he cannot talk. Or move. Or move. So. Uh -huh, we don't get to hear his monologue. <laughs> Every villain's true weakness. I'll swipe at you with a claw. Ooh, if he's attacking, that means that he's not trying to get out. Uh, that is correct. Then he brings his unholy trident around to hit you. Yeah, that'll do. 
That's going to hit. That hit, and it hurt a lot. It had necrotic... It seven points of damage. Dad. Yeah, I didn't show you the dice, but it does 2d8 plus 5 piercing and 2d12 necrotic. Oh. Yeah, it is nasty. Well, considering what it could have done, <laughs> 27 is not, not as bad. <laughs> yeah, it was going to hit you with another high-level spell. This one would have done way more damage than the Ice Storm. Oh, and his turn is over? So is the Ice Storm. Yay! Nice. All right, Inch, you can kill it. We believe in you. I'm Am I killing? Like Where is it? Across, Across the pit. Across the pit. There we go. Alrighty. Here we go. That is a hit. Nice. Roll 46 for that sneak attack. Boom. 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 And that one sinks deep, but he is still going. Argus. Got some tough skin. Oh, yeah. Fireball. You can go ahead and you can position it where it only gets him. So you go ahead and just drop the saving throw on him and then drop the damage. You don't. Also, I'm not going to make you draw a circle. You can also evoke it around it. So it yeah, matter. it doesn't really matter. You can evoke it around people. So just throw the saving throw on him and then throw the damage on him. Wait, no. no, he succeeds, no. but do your damage. It still does massive no, damage, happening. and he's it does double half damage because he's vulnerable. So close, but he is not down yet. All right, well, that was a spell. Breck. Breck, you're showing nice. grappled. You're not grappled. Oh, I didn't take that off? Dork. Thank yeah. you, sir. Um, Alright, so... Since they're such a... They love fire so much. And I am a fire cleric. Oh, cool. Gonna let three Romanos... As in scorching rays at him. Got this. And just gonna scare him. There we go. First two would just scare him, and the third one actually hits. <laughs> Wow. Well, eight damage is better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Eight damage is better than no damage, I guess. Because I hang my head in shame. Mm -hmm. Apologize to Desna for failing her. <laughs> Pancake. Okay, so Sven uh, messaged me something uh, really interesting. Where rules is written, you can move up to half your speed with your grappled target. You can. Can I drag him to the pit? You can. He's going to try to make a strength check to avoid that. Make your um, athletics check. Well, no, you can just move up to half your speed with him. I'm going to give him a strength check to try to break. Uh, 
I don't know why I rolled twice. You want me to contest that? Yes, I do. Um, if I don't make this, I'm using my inspiration for that. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you roll this. Roll 8d6 falling damage as he stumbles into the pit. No! Well, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even hear him yelling until like he's already further down. He only had three hit points left. <laughs> He's going to hit, with a big wet smack, he's going to hit the bottom. <laughs> All right, guys, we are almost at 8 o'clock. There is a final encounter for this. If you want, we can um, pick it up in two weeks and do the final encounter, and I can expand this out a little bit to cover a whole second session. What are you guys, how are you feeling? As far as I'm concerned, I'm good with that, but it's up to up to them, too. Otherwise, we could say that, you know, this is the climax of the adventure and just leave it here. It oh. is a one shot. But I, I, like I said, there is one more encounter and I can expand it beyond that if we want to do one more session. I'm good with you. Argus says okay. sec an extra day. All right. Yeah, I'm, you, I'm, I'm down for that. Then we'll continue nice. it and I will... Um, go over these characters and fine tune and fix all the flaws because they're they're flawed the character wizard let me down it let me down hard today <laughs> just that wait a second your strength is a 14. What the yeah, fuck? I, I noticed that that was two characters i looked as like it didn't apply any of the level advancements it didn't apply a lot of things it didn't apply sven's levels <laughs> and i know i leveled it up so yeah, I had anyways. all the spells, every all the equipment, everything. Just I was level one. <laughs> yep, I don't I don't know how that happened, but no, I will fine tune the characters and we'll we'll get them we'll get them spiffed up for next time and we'll continue this. All right. So I know we're a little bit early, but I didn't want to get started on the next thing and then um, not be able to finish it. All right, so the dwarf and the half orc are doing a flaw stance as. <laughs> This thing falls into the pit. I was gonna say he could cast spells from the bottom of the pit. So, <laughs> well, but, he could. <laughs> He's like, but you know. But he couldn't cast feather fall on his way down. And no, he had no feather <laughs> fall on his way down. That's great, man! <laughs> oh my gosh. Awesome. So I owe him another. I owe him two platinum now. Um, so thank you so much, Jingo. Appreciate the rest of you guys for hanging out playing um uh atomic just left us a couple minutes ago uh and martian cat again you're awesome for the biddies that is amazing thank you so much and come back two weeks to see how this concludes um and don't forget to like subscribe whatever else you do enjoy the rest of your day say good night guys. Right. good night guys, good night, guys.